So here is the rear crank right here, the rear portion of the crankshaft. You can see this chain, and it's a pretty beefy chain uh, that gets connected directly to the IMS bearing right here. Goes through the IMS shaft, and on this other end over here, this is, this is the end that never fails and nobody ever talks about. This is the uh, bearing case, they call it. Porsche calls this the bearing case. The bearing case houses the bearings for the uh, crankshaft and the connecting rods. Here is our infamous or famous, whatever you want to call it, IMS. This is the intermediate shaft right here. This is going back together right now. So this is the old bearing. This is the bearing that you must split the case open, the cylinder block open, to access the bearing because the bearing won't fit through the crankcase. So here is the rear crank right here, the rear portion of the crankshaft. You can see this chain, and it's a pretty beefy chain that gets connected directly to the IMS bearing right here. Goes through the IMS shaft, and on this other end over here, this is, this is the end that never fails and nobody ever talks about. This is the water distribution manifold and the oil pump housing, essentially. Okay, so the other end of the IMS goes right into here, right? So you can see, uh, this would just fit right into here like this. I'm sure I don't have this thing clocked right at all. Uh, this is where the other end of the IMS goes into. There's actually not a bearing in here. It's just a straight piece of aluminum. So if you wanted to say change the bearing on the opposite side of the IMS, you would change this entire distribution block. But no need to because they never go bad. Right, you can see inside there. This would just be called more of a plain bearing. It's oil fed and it looks pretty good inside there. Why did Porsche do this? Um, they have one side of the IMS supported with this style of a bearing. Then you have the other side of the IMS supported with a bearing that looks like this. And this is a roller type bearing. This is a sealed roller type bearing. Uh, lots of lots of discussion on what this bearing actually fits, what it should fit, what it goes to. It's odd that Porsche would have uh, installed this bearing inside an oil bath. So this is the bottom of the, we're looking right now at the bottom of the engine. So right now the engine is turned, if you're looking at it from the rear, it's turned 90 degrees to the left. So counterclockwise. There's oil bathing in here and there's oil touching this seal. Uh, this seal, uh, the reason why there's a seal here is so you don't have to oil bathe it. Um, and so it'll stay lubricated. So why do they do that? Who knows? This is the chain guide that wraps right around here, right? So it would go in this position, right? So there's already a brand new one installed. If you look right here, you can see where the chain has been riding by and just etching that thing out. The chain comes past here and it's, and it's beating this guide apart. And that beating is also happening through the bearing. That's another reason uh, why the bearings can fail prematurely because this beating that the chain is giving this guide is the same beating that the chain is giving this bearing, right? So that's why the bearings can go bad. It's the oscillation of the chain hitting, it's like constantly taking a hammer and hammering the bearing. Uh, this is our main chain guide tensioner. Uh, and you can see the same things happening here. Uh, it's just all coming apart. So this is all going to be replaced with brand new stuff. This is an aluminum piece right here with a plastic guide fit over this. To summarize what we've done with this assembly, we've reused the IMS shaft. The shaft is in very good shape. We've replaced the bearing, the guide, and the crankshaft main bearing, and the connecting rod bearings. So the connecting rods on this thing go from 25 Newton meters and then 110 degrees of head bolt angle torque. And it's a lot of torque. Takes a couple people to hold this thing down. There's our 25 Newton meter. Nice and easy to get to. Yeah, that's an easy one. That's the easy one. Then the 110 degrees, it's a lot. 
we are finished torquing down the crankshaft bearing assembly. And in the next video, we will install the crankshaft into the crankcase. All right.